hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel there's this general saying that um uh, the battle is always toughest at the end of the tunnel uh, right now as you speak um the indigenous people of biafra have been you know weathering the storm here and there over issues i uh, don't forget that the ipub leader himself Mazen namdekana is right now in Nigeria and in detention, but uh, structures here is kept um, all over the world, particularly in the ones that are being handled in the United States, you know, seem to be thriving, trying to, you know, their directorate are trying to push things forward and, you know, see how they can keep a, a united front despite the, you know, storms being thrown at them here and there. But right now, as we speak, there seems to be a bit of trouble brewing in, in, in the, the, united states branch of it uh, but they seem to you know find a way around it but this has to do with the fact that they it has to be corrected with immediate effect so that they can still push forward don't forget and uh, that the leader also you know sees this in dss they're not giving him much access to do what he ought to do but they are the directorate seem to be using their discretions here and there from time to time but before we go to the newspaper to find out what it is that is happening in ipob uh the um uh U.S.'s chapter branch. We'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the rest subscribe button beside it. You will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. All right, an account belonging to the Indigenous People of Biafra, that's IPOB, in the United States of America, USA, has been shut down following concerns of suspected fraud. Well, it was learned that the seed account served as a central account for members to pay their monthly dues and contributions to the Eastern Security Network. A statement by the head of IPOB, that's Indigenous People of Biafra Directed, Directorate, that's Chika Edozim, revealed that the legal department of the group has directed that another account should be opened to serve the same purpose. Edozim said that the group received a report from the bank that some yet to be identified or yet to be determined persons reported that they were operating a fraudulent account and subsequently requested that it should be closed down. Although the group said it is yet to determine those who originated the fraud report, but noted that a new account has been directed by Kanu through the legal department to be opened. Edozim also revealed that the bank ordered for the account to be shut down over fraud. The statement reads in part, following a report to the bank by yet to be identified persons that this account is fraudulent, the bank requested that the account be closed. Now, this is um, not getting very interesting at all. But let's look at this critically, openly. Please, let's be objective. Uh, we there's no harm meant here, but let's look at this very objectively. Now, Mazen Namdekano is in Nigeria. Now, when Mazen Namdekano was in uh, the States, was running the Hems of Affairs of IPOB, that account was never reported for the land. Now, that's the big question. Why now that he is now in detention that somebody somewhere or a group of people somewhere are now reporting the account for the land so that it should be shut down and another open with different signatories to that account. Supposing that Mazin Namdekan is one of the signatories to that account, or probably the sole signatory to the account, or two signatories to the account where uh, signatory A can sign a loan, or signatory A, B and C can equally sign together as co-signatory in case A is not around. Now, if that is the case, and they shut down an account, which means by default, in as much as Mazin Namdekan is not on seed, and he is uh, not a co-signatory to the account. Now, this new account that will be opened, Mazin Namdekan's signature will not be a PEX there. He will not be a signatory to the account. He will not even be a co-signatory to this new account. Why would an account be shut down? What? Why didn't the person who um, reported that the account is fraudulent, where was he or her or them? As the case may be, because they've not identified the group yet or the persons yet. Why didn't they report that account fraudulent when Mazen Abdekano was heading the affairs? What changed? And if they have decided to shut down the account and open a fresh one, which means this is so complex, honestly. And um, the directorate, and if there's a report to that effect, 
one would easily would say, okay, halt the payment into the account. Okay, let the account go through investigations. But meanwhile, let there be another account open, which I feel that's what they're doing. But now they are shutting down the account totally, meaning it is not under suspense. It's shut down. It's not operational. Now, this is the new one that is operational. Now, if this is the new one that is operational, which means Mazda no, no longer signs, has no business with the new account. Even when he comes out, except he comes back and changes it, you know, that's how it's going to be run. Okay, okay. One will say maybe they know better because Mazda Namikano cannot be signing uh, things from detention. Okay, so they need something that they can sign whenever they need something. But the question now is, who is the dep who is deputizing? And they said, okay, Edozim is um, one of the directorates. You know, uh, they seem to have um, a line of reporting in as much as this, there's an understanding of the line of reporting, no problem. But the question is, if they have reported that account as fraudulent and um, the legal team is involved at some point, the people or the group who reported it will be seen because at some point to, 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 to take a legal uh, framework, to take a legal shape, and this group needs to come out to defend the fact that they are saying that that account is fraudulent. So they need to defend it. So if they are going to defend it, you are going to see the identity of this group that just woke up as soon as Mazen Amdekano was in detention, few days or few weeks after, and say that account, that particular account. I, I, we, we, I'm just hoping that it will not be the same style that also happened in UK and happened in Japan and every other part that IPOB has accounts. And if they keep reporting it and they keep opening new, 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 new account, which means that they had different, different, that different signatures will now begin to operate. The whole thing, you know, I don't know how they're managing this, but let it be at the end of the day the reporting line i'm just just thinking the reporting line still remains the same and let it also be now the question that, that's another thing how is maz namdekano carried along they keep saying that maz namdekano gave it go ahead for them to sign or, or to open another account uh, are they passing the information through the legal team of Mazda Namikano to tell them and i also know the little i know is that if the legal team is to commit maz Excuse me. If the legal team is to come to meet, if if is to come to meet Mazda Namikano in detention, the DSS officials would definitely be there. So whatever information he's trying to pass down to, except they're going to say, okay, please give me a few moments with my client, and they you know share some information. Then it's okay, go tell them this. Other than that, you know the runnings, you know, will have to start taking place behind him. Whatever it is the director is doing, let them, you know, whatever that they're doing, let them still maintain a front because. If they don't, then the whole essence of Mazin and the kind of going for detention would but generally looking at how it's been done, they have kept a good front, if you ask me. You know, but let's hope that this, you know, ends where it is. God's wisdom.